I'm Jake Russell, a materials chemist and an RPE fellow. Hey there, I'm Christina Chang. I'm an RPE fellow, physical chemist by training. And at RPE, I'm looking at new chemistries for sustainable manufacturing. Jake and I are excited to introduce you to RPE and the unique fellow's role. RPE is a funding agency within the U.S. Department of Energy that funds energy technology concepts that are high risk, high reward, potentially transformational ideas which could reduce U.S. energy use and emissions. In 2007, the National Academy's report, Rising Above the Gathering Storm, recommended that an agency based on DARPA but focusing on energy be established to secure the nation's energy future. Within the 2009 stimulus bill, RPE was granted its first funds. Since then, we have awarded a cumulative $2.4 billion to almost 1,000 project teams. Our funding level has recently been about $425 million per year. And that money goes toward accomplishing the two main goals that Congress has authorized us to carry out. First, to overcome technological barriers to energy technologies that span our five mission areas. Reducing energy imports, improving energy efficiency, reducing emissions, including greenhouse gas emissions, improving the management, cleanup, and disposal of radioactive waste and spent nuclear fuel, and improving the resilience, reliability, and security of energy infrastructure. The second goal is to ensure the United States technological leadership in advanced energy systems. Let me quickly define some of our terms. Teams apply to RPE programs to receive funding for their projects. Teams may consist of anyone who does research in the United States, from university labs to startups to large businesses or NGOs. Programs are funding opportunities that we create to which folks can apply with their proposed project idea. Programs achieve their technical goals by funding a portfolio of projects. How do we as fellows and as an agency choose what technical goals to focus on when creating new programs? One criterion is, does it create new learning curves? We're tasked with identifying and promoting fundamental and applied scientific advances that if they work, would fulfill our missions. We provide support to de-risk technologies aiming ultimately towards commercial viability. Our mission is construed broadly, such that we fund areas across energy technology sectors. Here are some examples. Central and RPE are program directors, technology to market advisors, and fellows. Program directors envision and run programs, complemented by tech to market advisors, who provide business development and techno-economic expertise. The fellows position is early career, typically zero to five years after your PhD or equivalent terminal degree. It's a unique position. It is not a postdoc, a scholarship, or even what one might traditionally call a fellowship. Rather, RPE fellows are federal employees paid a competitive salary and receive full benefits. An RPE fellow's main job description is to help figure out what RPE is not yet funding that it should be. Fellows spend their time doing independent technical and economic analysis, generating new ideas and exploring future research areas for the agency. The fellows have complete freedom to pursue what concepts and technology areas they believe are impactful. There's no need to work in a vacuum. This often involves brainstorming and working closely with each other as a fellows team and with the rest of the agency, as well as conducting outreach to entrepreneurs, academics, and industrial researchers. In fact, engaging with the U.S. energy ecosystem is a main part of our job. Here on the left are Zara and Ashwin, fellow alumni with mechanical engineering backgrounds, at Acades Power, which designed a more efficient hybrid internal combustion engine with ARPA-E funding in 2018. Fellows also speak on the main stage of ARPA-E's Energy Innovation Summit. Here on the right are fellow alumni delivering their talks, which we call fast pitches. Michael, who has a chemistry background, is making the energy case for designer lab grown meat. And Lakshana, who has a nuclear engineering background, is outlining how deep sea mining could give us access to critical minerals needed for low emissions technologies. So how do we as fellows and as an agency choose where to focus when we envision new concepts for program areas? Overall, we use several criteria to evaluate what to fund, including, for example, the Heilmeier Catechism and the guidelines shown here. High impact, measured in quad amounts of energy saved or megaton amounts of greenhouse gas emissions avoided, disruptive as opposed to incremental innovation, and bridging from science to deployable technology. A program takes about four years from initial program creation through the execution of projects, including the open competition to select teams. Projects might last anywhere from less than a year to about three years. The process ends as we help position the team for its next steps. 
As fellows, many of us spend a good portion of our time in the envision phase, developing theses for high impact RPE research program areas and making recommendations to the RPE team and leadership, which can become programs that go through this life cycle. Moreover, with the freedom of the fellows position comes the flexibility to help with existing programs at any stage. From reviewing proposals to attending technical review meetings and site visits, fellows can interact closely with the teams and projects RPE has funded. To summarize, fellows have flexibility to explore the full breadth of energy and emissions technologies during their two-year federal position. We help develop future programs and conduct our own energy technology assessments. The position is open-ended with the leeway to lead new initiatives within the agency, contribute to its strategic direction and vision, and develop professionally including attending conferences and publishing our analyses. We encourage applicants from a wide range of science and engineering backgrounds, as long as you have a demonstrated interest in energy technologies. Recent PhD graduates are eligible, as well as those graduating within the next year. Fundamentally, RPE is a mission-driven community committed to making an impact, enhancing the United States economic competitiveness, energy security, and environment. We often come back to this guiding principle if it works, will it matter? If the ARPA-E Fellows position sounds great to you, please consider working with us. The application and more information are on our website. We're also very happy to answer any questions you might have about the position. Please feel very welcome to reach out to the current fellows to learn more.